Hey, what's up guys? It's the Brick Building Kids. Today I'm coming to you with a new home improvement project of ours. So, these French doors, we are getting rid of them and we are going to install a sliding door. So I'm going to show you the steps that we've, we're going to take to remove this door and to install our brand new door that we got from Lowe's. So, well, let's get started. Here we go. All right, now before we get started, guys, I want to show you exactly what we're working with. So these are um, just normal French doors. I'm looking at the at the jams. It looks like we are going to be uh, limited to just these screws that are on the inside. That's what we're going to be removing them with. So I'll remove these screws um, when it comes down to it to remove the door, but we're going to have um, some work to do on the exterior in order to prepare our area. All right guys, now this is our reliability door from Lowe's. So they delivered this um, a little bit back. Our project just changed it a little bit, but um, here is our sliders um, that we're gonna be installing here. It should be, it should be relatively simple. Um, generally, if this is your first time, it might take you a few hours to install it. Um, I'm speculating that with the removal of siding that we're gonna need to do, that it's probably going to be a couple hours, um, but yeah, we'll see how things go. So I'm not really too sure what's under the siding, so we're going to kind of figure these things out as we go along. All right, guys. So this is our whole exterior area. Um, I'm going to take all the siding off before we start to take this door off, um, just so when we go to apply the door, we have a nice clean area to work with. Um, it should be it should be pretty simple. I've already started taking some of the siding off when we started our, our porch project. Um, it was originally going to be a sun porch, but we, we revised some things. So um, I'm going to time lapse through the removal of the siding, and then I'll get back with you guys in a minute. Hi right, guys, so I have all of the siding off. So I have my rough opening fully prepared, minus the old door. So one, a couple things I do want to point out. Um, hopefully I caught you guys quick enough, but these light switches that I took the siding off around, you do want to make sure that you have disconnected all of the electricity before you start to mess with these. I did, I did ensure before we started our video that um, the power was turned off and a couple things so I use these two tools when I'm removing siding I use the siding remover and I use a pry bar so siding remover starts um, to pull underneath it and the pry bar is just so I can pull the rest of it away so um, but I also down below, I use an old old spackling tray and I'm just throwing all my nails in there. That way, um, I know where they're at and I can reuse them later for when we reattach the rest of our siding. So I'm going to go ahead and start to take off the old door. All 
All right, so guys, my first, all of these here, we've got some that are screwed through there, some that are screwed through these pockets. Right there. And again, some more just screwed. If there were hinges, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Alright, so it looks like we have all of the screws that are holding this in place together. And we're just going to have to muscle this out now. So I think everything that's holding it in there is just old glue and caulk. Alright guys, so we, um, like I said, we ripped, we ripped this off. We actually took Took the uh, took the doors off, and we were able to strip the entire frame out just by removing the screws, like I showed you. So we're going to uh, prepare the area now so we, for the new door. And in doing that, we're going to make sure that the edges are all clear, and we are going to go with the same setup before. We're not going to have a sill plate on this unit, but we're going to apply flashing on the exterior. Right, guys I took some more time and actually found that there was another floor causing our lip to be way off so we actually cleaned this up even more so we are going to uh, go get the door now and we're gonna put this up all right guys so we got the door out it uh we, we got surprised with some rain so everything's wet now so that's fine So as it stands right now, we've, uh, we're viewing, these looks like we are at a good spot for where we need to be with preparation. So I'm going to start to take all of the handles off the door that helped us get it to where it's at and take all the cardboard off so we can start to um, do our initial, our initial put on. Alright guys, so we did some more cleanup, found out that there are still there were still some nails and some other debris that were holding us up from putting this in. Now, when we removed the French doors, we measured and we thought we were good, but actually we were way too wide. So I got another piece, put it in here, uh, we did a rough, rough, rough inserting this in here and it did fit. So we're going to get our caulking and we are going to lay a nice large bead down. So... Um, we're, we're not going to put a sill plate on this, so we're going to put a nice big fresh bead of uh, caulking down and then start to put the door in. Alright, so we primarily have Four screws in holding this in so I can so I can safely walk away from the, walk away from this and not worry about anything causing it to fall out completely. So I'm gonna get a deeper bit or a longer bit um, because I'm where I'm at with the screws right now 
in my small bit, I'm, I'm going to start scuffing up the door so I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to go get another bit. Alright guys, so I got one a little longer. We're going to go ahead and do this. Alright, correction, this is what I need. Alright. All right guys, so my camera cut out somewhere. Um, been having some problems with our batteries lately, but um, so I went through and every few screws I attached all throughout. So I, I mean, I feel really good. Like this is very, very solid. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to just make sure the operation from the inside is all right. Because as far as level goes, like we are we are good as far as here we are also good so I want to take apart the inside just to make sure that the operation is going to be okay because we're actually going to flip these around too so right now this door goes back and forth but we're going to change it so this door goes back and forth so we're going to, need to take them both out flip them around and uh, see how that goes so um, we're going to go inside and take a look Alright friends, so here we are from the inside. It is nice and bright outside, so it is making it kind of hard to see in here. Alright, so we're going to take apart some of these pieces that are causing the door not to operate. So one of them is up top. It's going to be latch up in here so we're just going to get Phillips head screwdriver or Phillips bit I'm going to take this off okay Okay, so that's one piece. It seems to want to move now, so I think there's one on the bottom as well. It does seem very loose at the top, so I think we're just going to need to adjust this a little bit. But I like it, I like it a lot. So there's a lot of... It's, 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 it's super snug in here. I mean, it's... It's within tolerance, but um, with us making a final adjustment to our framing, this did fit very, very well. Alright, now I've been removing, I've been trying to figure out why this isn't moving very well, and it turns out, if you read the instructions, they sh the slider... has these little things in here for shipping purposes, so I'm going to remove... Okay, so guys, operationally, we're good. It moves back. And forth. Let's check our levels again. Our doors are just a little bit tight, so we're going to adjust those. So you can see there's a lot of play on one side. So we are going to adjust 
things. But before we do, I'm going to apply the flashing to the outside. So we'll show you how we do that now. All right, so this is the um, flashing we're gonna put around the door. So we're gonna do the sides of the door first, up and down, then we're gonna apply it across the top and apply across the bottom. So we're gonna go sides first, and this stuff is very sticky, so just be very careful. All right, so we got one side done. Let's go for the other. The easy thing to do is pull back. Let's pull back on this. And then apply, uh, apply it up top. And then let you roll down, and then you can just cut it right at the bottom. Do this. All right, top is done. Now the bottom, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna cut this short. Uh, we didn't we didn't make a sill plate, so we're gonna flash below here. Excess, we're actually going to use to cover up any other spots that we need to cover up. So I'm going to start at this corner. All right, now we are fully flashed here. Now I'm going to take this area down here. There's just a little bit that I want to do. Just to weather protect this, so we still have one random staple popping out. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm just gonna cover up a little more of this area. It's probably fine, but Okay, so here we are. We are fully flashed. We've got the door completely installed. The door completely flashed. Level and working. All right, and it feels really, really good. All right guys, so we just got this reliable door slider and we are actually going to change the orientation so it opens from the left side instead of the right. So what you need to do is you need to loosen these screws down at the bottom, the large one. Okay, loosen them counterclockwise. And then we're gonna get started. Here we have to take the door out, lift it out of the track, we need to loosen it a little bit more. Now that we have this out, we need to take the track from the bottom and apply it to the top, so we need to find a safe place to do this. All right guys, now in order to change the direction that your door goes, we need to take these out. Okay, so we're gonna remove 
I'll remove these from the door. Careful pulling these out. Okay, so here we go. We have one out. Okay. We're going to remove the other one now. And I'll show you how we apply these in a moment. Alright guys, so installing these back in the other side is super easy. So, you just take this piece, after you've removed it, shove it right back in here, line it up in the hole, okay? So then we're going to take the other screw that holds this on, put it in here, and just start to turn it. Okay. Part one is done. Now our sliding, our operating door is set to be put back in. Now we need to go change the stationary door. Hi right, guys, now, it breaks my heart to say this. I screwed up. I did screw up. So I needed to actually read the instructions before I put this up regarding changing the orientation of the door. So we actually had to take the entire door off, take all of our flashing off, and start over. So, um, I cried a little bit, but we flipped it around and I'm about to screw it up now. So we're going to put the door back in momentarily after I get everything fastened again. Alright, so we are in. We have reversed and we are in. Now let's install our hardware. Hey guys, now since we flipped over the door, we need to flip over our latch. So I'm gonna take this out and flip it over before we start to install any of the hardware. Okay, and before this falls through the door, I'm gonna actually get some pliers, that way we don't lose it. Oh. Here's our wonderful, wonderful hardware. Okay. Alright, and the instructions strike again. I was correct. We should have flipped this over. Uh, the latch should always engage upwards. So, that is... Another fail, but you know what? <clears throat> you gotta do something wrong to know what you've done right. Right? Must go. We are in. Okay. Okay. Holding us back from completely engaging here. Not 
100% certain what it is, but I think we need to adjust just this down a little bit. Or is it up a little bit? Let's see. We need to bring it down. So, Okay, so like I said, we're gonna move this down a little bit so it engages our lock. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in again. Okay, and we're still out there. But, we are close, we are really close. Yeah, I mean, we still need to come down a little bit more. And here's what I think. I think these bumps at the top and the bumps at the bottom are causing this thing not to close, so. We're going to test this hypothesis and see if it works. Call it a day. Alright guys, now after all this work, all this flipping, we are done. So the door is in. It is very nice. We've got our trim up. We have a little painting to do, but it is good. So if you uh, if you enjoyed this video, or if you are installing one of your own and have any questions, please leave some comments below. Um, and have a great day. Thank you guys very much for watching.